Hi everybody. It is Wednesday, July 1st. I'm Pastor Colleen and welcome to my back deck. It is good to be with all of you today on this very pretty day. So, uh, July 1st. There's an old wives tale that says the very first thing you should say on it when it's a new month, a new day, the first day of the new month, you should say rabbit rabbit. It's supposed to be good luck, so rabbit rabbit. Okay, so the story that we're going to read today is called When God Made You. And it is by Matthew, it was written by Matthew Paul Turner, and it was illustrated by David, David Catro. So, When God Made You. You, you, when God made you, God made you all shiny and new. An incredible you, a you all your own, a you unlike anyone else ever known. An exclusive design, one God refined, you're a perfectly crafted one of a kind. Because when God made you, somehow God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. You, you, God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your debut. From the very beginning, amid history and time, you, little one, never left God's mind. God imagined your eyes, your head's shape and size, and knew what you'd look like when you felt surprised. God pictured your nose and all ten of your toes, the sound of your voice. God had it composed. The lines on your hands, your hair, every strand, God knew every detail like it was all planned. Out of billions of faces from cultures, all races, people God made from all different places. God knew your name. Your picture is framed. God's family without you would not be the same. Because when God made you, this much is true. The world got to meet who God already knew. You, you, when God sees you, God delights in what is and sees only what's true. That you, yes, you, in all of your glory, bring color and rhythm and rhyme to God's story. So be you, fully you, a show-stopping review. Live your life in full color, every tint, every hue. Discover, explore, have faith, but love more. And learn and relearn all that God made for you. Use your talents and passions, those gifts that God fashioned. Think up ideas and then put them to action. Because God loves you creating, your true self displaying. When light on the inside through art is portraying. When you make believe the stories conceived, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. When you dance alone, spinning like a cyclone, being whoever, whatever, in a world all your own. God smiles, and here's why. In the spark of your eye, a familiar reflection shines bright from inside. Because when God made you and the world oohed and odd, in heaven they called you an image of God. You, you, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. That you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind. A 
a dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. A mover, a shaker, a lover of nature. A builder of bridges, you, the peacemaker. A you who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. A confident you, strong and brave too. You being you is God's dream coming true. Because when God made you, all of heaven was beaming. Over you, God was smiling and already dreaming. The end. You being you is God's dream coming true. Remember, God had you in mind from the very beginning. You are exactly who you're supposed to be. God's child and God loves you. So go love others. Be kind, be a peacemaker, dream, be creative, uh, play, dance, dance like a cyclone and remind others that God made them too and that their being themselves is God's dream for them too. I hope you enjoyed the story. I thank you so much for tuning in and for joining me out here in my backyard. I will see you again soon. Rabbit, rabbit, bye.